Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Nick Saint, owner of One Love Lawn, veteran owned and operated. And tonight, we're out in the garden. So, check this out. Some uh, emails have been coming in, and some questions have been posted on our Instagram and uh, through our Facebook account about the rose bushes. Um, we had a little bit of a, a live video on Instagram and uh, some of our Facebook about the rose bushes and how to maintain knockout roses and also regular rose bushes which we'll get over to here in a second so knockout roses right here are actually bred to self clean and um, that's what they're bred for but most of the time you have to help them clean their cells. If you don't, you'll just start getting a lot of spent shoots and you won't get any more flowers. So, to keep your flowers moving all season long, this is what you need to do. Okay, so we're back and I'm gonna show you what's going on here. So right in here, right here is your spent shoots, okay? So you wanna take this, take either your snips, pruners, or some scissors, and you wanna cut at a 45 degree angle. See that? Okay, so you wanna go all the way around, all your spent shoots, and pop them out. And this way, your rose bush will start saying, hey, I spent all my shoots. Now it's time to get new flowers. The trick is, is not to take off too much. If you take off too much, you'll start getting dead and it's almost like a hard prune. If you're starting to see dead inside of your bush, your rose bush here, that's where you want to clip it off. You want to clip out the dead all the way to the new. See that? All the way to the new. Okay. So you want to go around, look, see this is new growth, you got some new buds coming along, everything is perfect here. Alright, got all the spent shoots out of here, oh, we got one in back in here, another one over here, and typically they bloom in threes. So if you got these on your... So if you got these on the properties that you're maintaining or your home, this is the way you want to do it. And this way you can keep your flowers moving, like I said, all season long. And um, it's a lot better to do it this way and, you know, instead of trying to let them do themselves, because then if you just let them do the natural thing, spin by themselves, it's going to take a longer time to get more flowers so and that's what you do all right guys so everybody have a great day and uh, thanks for watching please hit subscribe and definitely for your notifications and uh, let everyone know one love line is here and uh, definitely love helping so keep all the questions coming keep them all going and uh, we got answers for you one love Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning back in. Um, we're out here in the garden and we're talking rose bushes and knockout roses. Uh, there's a major difference, but we'll get into that in a whole entire other segment. So, we just talked about pruning the roses and um, so your knockout roses understand how and when to start producing more flowers. Now we're going to talk about more of a 
sick. More of a sick dying rose bush and how to help this uh, come back to life a little bit. So what happened here, we have a classic example of a regular poison bush. So this isn't from urine or anything, this is actually from Windex and it's uh, just been kind of slowly dying out on its own. So the trick is here, we want to cut out the dead. And you want to cut it out to an extent of to where you're cutting out the dead all the way to the new growth. Okay? That's what we're going to do. See that? Back to the new growth. Now, what you're doing is when you're doing this to a rose, so what we're doing right now is we're talking about saving this rose bush and making it back to good. So, we want to cut out all this dead. Eventually, we're going to have to get all this dead out. See how that's just rotten? It's just rotting. Just rotting. Whole branch here. Dead. Back at it again. And the trick is, is we won't get out the dead. Okay? All the way back to the graph. Take it back to the graph. See that? Take it back to the graph. Okay? Do not bend. Snip. Do not bend. You don't want to break it. You want to cut it. Just like that. Should be a simple cut. Easy cuts. Okay? change no longer feel chains I used to feel like prey but now I just pray I'll show you a couple things yeah well I'll never be the same yeah I'll always be down for you like my internet connection I'll 
shaping this baby a little different and um, get her growing a little 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 separate from everything else here this year um, she's definitely gonna have some character to her and uh, that's okay Last year when we started here, this was not even this big and we didn't have this much growth on it. We only had this shoot right here was the only thing alive. So we've brought it back to this far. Um, this year we're just starting to be able to see a lot more dead and um, that's okay. It's all right. New growth is coming in in other areas. Back here is the graph and you see where it's still alive right there. So cut it back to the graph. Get it going. Strength, if you will, to my longevity, if you will. Get me where I live. I'll give all I have to give. Get me where I live. I'll give all of the dead cut out we're gonna have to keep clipping this one throughout the season this year and hopefully like I said this will give it a chance to push in a different direction we're just gonna have a different kind of a knockout rose bush here and uh, she's gonna have a lot of character and um, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one so guys stick around for the updates on this See your body glistening, but don't take offense to what I'm mentioning. It's just a smile, it's sweet like an M&M. And yeah, I do got a lot of women friends. You don't gotta envy them. You could be my Venus. I just wanna serve you something like Wimbledon. Only got friends, go ahead and send them in. If you're tired, we can roll like Michelin. Put your drinking, I can buy what you're sipping, and there's no need to thank me. Nah, don't mention it. Yeah, body smelling like cinnamon. It probably smells better when I'm kissing it. 
And your dress looks just right, but I bet it'll look even better when I'm living it. Yeah. 